Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you had an amazing week. Let's take a look at some traits we share with our community um, inside our Discord and our platform. Let's check first our crypto ideas. This week we did pretty good. We did pretty amazing on the crypto market. Let's start with this uh, trade on ADA USDT share on Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check this one. Actually, this was a full profit, as, as you can see, 406 profit um, on, on, on a short position we placed on ADA USDT. You have all the details right here. It was an amazing trade. It was an amazing trade, but we also made some profits on AVAX USDT. Let's take a look. Again, trade result of uh, $155. And uh, all the details are right here, as you can see. Stop loss and take profit. TBD means to be determined. So we uh, made nice profits on this one. And also, we share another trade again on ADA USDT. All right, $309 profit closing all shorts positions here and closing price 79 cents 309 pro uh, 309 dollars profit so those were our trades in um in our crypto uh portfolio we would just uh, share this three but they all uh were in profit now when it comes to the forex market this week was pretty interesting. Let's take a look at some trades share using our supply and demand strategy. We share many, many trades this week with uh, supply and demand. However, most of them uh, had to be canceled because uh, we were uh, or, or well, the trade uh, was going to be activated out of the session, which which is something I don't recommend or near the rollover session. So we had to cancel them just like this one, Cat Yen. Um, there were some other trades that uh, needed to be canceled also because simply didn't uh, retrace. But let's let's check first the one on on February 21st, which was a stop loss on, on Euro USD. Unfortunately, we had a nice uh, supply level right here. All right. We had a nice supply level, but the market ended up removing the zone. So we had a loss on this one minus one R. I usually split my order. For instance, I use one percent per trade. So I place when I send signals like this, it, it means that I place uh, 0.50 here and 0.50 uh, and at the 50 percent of the of the order block. So that's basically what I do. Sometimes I split my orders and I was expecting the market to uh, reversed from this level since this is the level responsible of breaking this low but no the market in fact just went a little bit higher up to this level and it uh, gave some nice uh, weak rejections at this area and then it dropped a few pips but it started to consolidate a, lo a lot so unfortunately we uh, got a stop loss on this one but we had an amazing trade on Euro Swiss. All right, this is actually, oh, here was supposed to be TP reached. <laughs> um, this is actually the trade, um, my trading plan. This is actually the trades I always look for. And this is the type of, of, of market, this is the type of, market behavior i look in lower time frames so i can get uh higher or i can get high risk reward uh returns for instance we had this short position on euro chf the order flow was bearish this is a four hour supply level we had we had a bearish order flow which was uh trending pretty good so when market tap my level all right see how market started to you know grab some liquidity we had some 
equal equal highs right here 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 then the market just go you know against those uh, resistance levels uh, against this equal highs and then it created this um, this peak some of you might know this pattern as V reversal or just a swing high well I know this pattern um, as a peak all right that's the analogy when you trade supply and demand so we had a peak level right here okay but this peak level was also responsible of removing this demand area all right and removing this low okay so basically that's how sellers you know let you guys know that they are stepping into the market and that's very important now sometimes and and this is what what has been happening a lot is that the market will simply not retrace to our area it just drops from here but this time this time the market did retrace and i'll show you the chart the market did retrace to the supply area in the five minute time frame because we had again more equal highs at this area so the market during the london session rally and tap my five minute supply level and then drop we had so uh, much inefficiency here all right some imbalances that needed to be filled and here's a trade as you can see this is the i mean this is what we call confirmation in lower time frames but uh we've been getting a lot uh, we we have been getting a lot of trades where the market simply confirms all right confirms by breaking the lows or removing uh, opposing zones but don't but just don't retrace in this case the market did retrace all right did retrace to our area so I placed the stop loss um, above the four hour supply level and then it dropped so that's how we made uh, 114 pips but it was a 762 return to um, risk reward ratio 762 return it was a pretty it was a pretty good uh, trade this one that's how you that's how in my personal account I I make a lot of money when I get those trades so if you have been following, if you have been following um, our weekly reviews, you might know that uh, I have shared many setups where the market simply do not retrace. So when the market retrace, man, you can make a lot of money by confirming those trades. You can also go aggressive, but you will get uh, more stop losses. So that was basically the trade. And unfortunately, after that, as you know, in the social media, and um, in news, we have been seeing a lot of tension between Russia and Ukraine. So the market started to go crazy. And that's, I mean, we don't recommend to trade during this market conditions. And that's the reason why I just stopped trading during the week. I was uh, comfortable with this profit and I didn't share or I didn't trade any other um any other setup until you know the market digest how all this tension is going on so next week i hope the market will turn or will <laughs> will be a little bit normal all right i hope and um, yeah so that was basically the trades share using our supply and demand strategy now our smart money trader also share very nice setups let me show you let me show you one of them and i i actually took that trade and it was pretty good though um i'll, I'll share it with you which is a buy signal on crude oil but let me share the the chart first and this is a share uh, th this is a trade uh share by our smart money trader on crude oil which went pretty good it actually rallied even more than our stipulated take profit this is the 15 minute time frame um, it was a good buy signal not only technically but um, using the fundamentals why because as you know when there are some tensions going on 
like in this case between Russia and in Ukraine, uh, crude oil, also gold, tends to go up. And uh, the market did react to this level, all right? And it rallied. And let me show you how far it, it, it went. So take a look at uh, how far it, it went, how far it, it rallied from our entry price. We wish we would have known that the price was going to rally all this this impulse. <laughs> we would have got six point, you know, six thirty three uh, return. But in the end, we hit our take profit, which is the important part of our of our trades of a trade. So those were uh, those were uh, some trades we shared during the week, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, weekly review inside our Discord community. And if you would like to get more information, if you would like to be part, well, we will uh, drop the link in our description. If you have questions, don't hesitate to contact us and one of our representatives will assist you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on Monday with another weekly forecast. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.